So I know it's been a while, but I am finally back with another episode of the best Nova Launcher setups today. I've got three amazing setups to showcase to you guys. So let's cut straight to the chase. First up, we have your Vool setup, which is a clean one page setup that still provides a great amount of functionality. So the first thing you'll notice is that we have this really cool rainbow paintbrush wallpaper, which is super nice, mainly because it creates a really effective visual contrast from the minimalistic gray background. On either side of the paintbrush vector, we have a clock and date widget, and this has been set up using widget 43 from the Unity widget three pack for Zupa. The widget has been modified slightly to accommodate for that larger gap. And I think this was a great decision because it works really well alongside that vector. Coming down below that, we have three folder icons with each using a circle background and using the grid preview format. These folders could well be filled with as many apps as you so desire, so a potential for heaps of functionality here. Aside from that, we have a swipe up to access the app draw shortcut, which is in the list format, which looks cool. And the icon pack he's using across this entire setup is the Magmi icon pack, which has this washed out materialistic design to them, which I dig. So that's about it, a super clean setup of which I am a big fan. Following that is Thrillox setup. And what I love about this one is that you've actually got quite a lot going on throughout, and yet it still looks really clean. The really slick wolf and moon wallpaper comes from the Retrome wallpaper application. And once again, we've got a nice visual point of reference up the top there. And then down below, we've got this black silhouette of grass, which provides for a great visual contrast within the setup. Up the top, we have a day, time and date widget, which comes from the typographical Zupa theme widget pack. And you've got the black font selected for that, which ties in nicely with the color palette throughout the setup. Coming down below those wolves, we have a Google Now search and welcome message widget. This one is taken from the PixUp Zooper pack, which I love. And then below that, we have five application icons, each of which are using the Antimo icon pack, which I really enjoy the look of. Coming down below the five application icons, we have a screen lock, Google search and app draw indicator widget, again from PixUp. Although I'm not too sure of the need for this one, given that there are ways of accessing each of those shortcuts fairly quickly already. So removing that might make things cleaner even more so. Aside from that though, I really do enjoy the aesthetic of this setup and appreciate the effort put into making it look as good as it does. Finally today, we have Ryu's setup, which is actually a three page setup, but an ultra clean one at that. Starting with the wallpaper, this comes from the Frames wallpaper application, which is one of my favorite wallpaper apps. And it's just about the perfect style of wallpaper that lets you do just about anything with. On the first page, we have a clock widget up the top, which has been modified from a Fox for Zupa widget, number 12 to be precise. And then below that, we have a set of three by three apps, all of which are using the Kiesel icon pack, which looks great. Below that set of three by three apps, we also have an additional modified widget from the Fox for Zupa pack using widget number one. And I'm not 100% sure what this was originally set up to trigger, but my I guess is the app draw and so that's how I've got it set up here. The second page is very much the same just without the clock widget and this time with an Apple icon application shortcut down the bottom and then the third page is again similar but this time with a two by three set of six application icons. Ryu is also using a fairly clean dock for this setup as seen below and he's got five application shortcuts here. Upon swiping up, we get the app draw, which is now using icons from the Delta icon pack. And you can also see he's got no labels for each of these icons, which looks ultra clean and minimal. But other than that, this is a super clean setup that deserves some serious props. Aside from that, that is it for episode eight of the best Nova Launcher setups. Hopefully you enjoyed this one and let me know which of the setups is your favorite in the comments down below. As always, everything I've talked about in this video, including the Nova Launcher backup files will be included as links in the notes below. And as well as that, I'll also add a link to the original submission video if you're interested in entering yourself. Don't forget, if you enjoy the sort of content that I produce, why not hit subscribe and while you're at it, hit that little bell icon so you stay notified for whenever I release a new video. But anyway, that is it from me. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you later.